Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in 1994, with the main character Daniel Daniel working out. He hears the police approaching, and makes a run for it right away. He tries his best to escape, but ends up getting hit by a police cruiser. Then the story goes back in time a few months. Daniel is a schemer, and recently released convict, who served time for Medicare fraud. Son gym owner, John Messe hires him to increase membership, and make the gym more fitness-based. Daniel triples the gym's membership within three months, and befriends trainer Adrian Dorbel. Adrian is a bodybuilder who uses steroids, which render him impotent. Daniel soon lusts after the earnings and lifestyle of a new gym member he trains, Victor Kershaw, who Daniel believes is a crook. One day, while he is watching TV, he sees Johnny Wu, who shows off his lavish lifestyle, and tells his viewers that if they want to be rich like him, they should join his seminar. He attends the seminar, where Wu tells his audience to become doers, he tells them to take three steps, set a goal, set a plan, and stick to that plan. Inspired by Johnny Wu, Daniel decides to be a doer, and hatches a plan to extort Kershaw. To execute that plan, he needs someone else as well, so he reveals his plan to friend Adrian. He tells him that they do not deserve the life they have been living, and if they want to change it, they are going to have to take a step. Adrian also likes the idea. They however still need another man, then, we are introduced to Paul, who has just gotten out of jail. He used to be a drug addict, but has come out clean after spending time in jail, and now just wants to live a simple life. He however has a bad reputation, so he has not been able to get a job. So he has no choice but to agree to the plan. They have now planned everything, but they still need one thing, a beautiful girl. Daniel goes to a bar dancer named Serena. Serena is also an ambitious person, so she is willing to do anything if she is getting paid well in return. They however do not tell her that they are going to kidnap someone. They tell her that they are just hiring her as a model for an album. Everything has now been arranged, and they are good to go, but Adrian does not feel well, he has been taking steroids, and now faces the side effects. He goes to see a doctor, where he flirts with a nurse. The doctor tells him that there is nothing to worry about, and they can cure him. Daniel and Paul, on the other hand, go to a weapon store to carry out the plan, Paul lies to the shop owner, telling him that he has served in the military. The shopkeeper takes a look at the man, and being impressed by his physique, gives them the desired weapons. Daniel now tells the team, that they are going to sneak into Victor's farmhouse from the back door, and do the job. They name their gang the Sun Jim Gang. The next evening, they go to his farmhouse, but learn that there is a party going on at his place, so they decide to come back another day, as there are too many people out there. They now change the plan, their plan now is to kidnap the target in front of his shop. Outside his deli, they incapacitate him with a taser, and take him to a small warehouse he owns, which is stocked with sex toys. The whole gang is wearing masks, and they also disguise their voices, but Kershaw identifies Daniel from his distinctive cologne. He asks them why they are doing this to him, and they tell him that they have shitty lives and they deserve better. He then tells him that he cannot become rich just by being muscular, which shocks Daniel, and he asks him how he knows that he is muscular, this is when Victor tells him that his cheap cologne has sold him out. The scheme goes as planned. They tell him to make a phone call to his wife, and tell her to leave the country right away. When he resists, they torture him, so he has no choice but to cave. They then take the man to a hideout, and duct tape his eyes. Kershaw makes calls under duress, to provide fake explanations for his disappearance, and gets his family to move out of state. They try their best to make him sign the documents of his property, but he does not cave, Paul now starts thinking about quitting the group, but Daniel tells Serena to stay close to him, and she starts flirting with him. That night, when Paul is at the bar, he runs into one of the richest men out there. He takes Serena with him, and Paul does not like it, however, he cannot do anything about it. In the meantime, they start torturing Victor to make him sign the papers. After showing great resilience, he finally agrees and signs the documents, which transfer his assets to Daniel. Daniel even bribes John Messe to notarize documents in Kershaw's absence, by presenting documents signed by Kershaw, and using his money to sponsor the Sun Jim. The Sun Jim gang is able to collect Kershaw's money and assets, but they realize that releasing him is a bad idea. Therefore, Daniel concocts a plan to kill Kershaw, by forcing him to drink liquor and crash his BMW, making it look like a drunken accident. When Kershaw survives the crash, the gang burns the car with Kershaw in it. He escapes the blazing vehicle, so the gang runs over his body, and leaves him for dead. Unbeknownst to them, Kershaw survives, the police find him, and he is right away taken to the hospital. When he is able to talk, he tells the police how he was kidnapped, tortured, 
and made to sign over his property. The police however do not believe him, because they find alcohol in his body, and conclude that he must be hammered. Victor also has a criminal history, he was once arrested for drug dealing, so they do not believe him at all. The Sun Jim gang members spoil themselves with Kershaw's riches. Daniel takes over Kershaw's car in his home in a ritzy Miami suburb, Adrian marries his nurse Robin, and uses his cut to purchase penile erection treatments, and Paul abandons his restraints of religion and sobriety, and fritters away his money on cocaine and his new stripper girlfriend. When no one believes him, he then contacts Ed Dubois III, a retired private investigator, who declines to take the case, but warns Kershaw to quickly leave the hospital, before the gang returns to kill him. The gang learns of Kershaw's survival and goes to the hospital to kill him, but the plan fails, because Kershaw has taken Dubois' advice, and fled. Daniel however learns that Victor tried telling everything to the police, but they did not believe him, so since they are now not worried about the police finding out about them, they get back to enjoying their lives. Daniel starts living at Victor's house, and buys another one as well. Paul on the other hand is having the time of his life with Serena. Upon reflection, Dubois takes Kershaw's case, and tails the Sun Jim gang. He joins the gym where Daniel works, and tries to stay as close to him as possible. Meanwhile, Paul has wasted all of his cut, and attempts to rob an armored car. However, die packs planted in the money bag explode, and he narrowly escapes the police, getting his toe shot off. He and Adrian, who depleted his share on treatments, his and Robin's wedding, and a new home, now explain to Daniel that they need more money, so they propose another kidnapping. Victor on the other hand, calls the gym owner and threatens him, by letting him know that he is well aware of what he has done, and that it is totally illegal. He tells him that he transferred the property without both parties' presence. The gym owner now gets scared of the consequences. He right away goes to Daniel and tells him about Victor's call. Daniel asks him from which number he called, he now plans on killing Victor and putting an end to this. The group locates the motel where Victor has been staying, and goes to kill him. However, they arrive too late, as he has already checked out. Daniel and Adrian discover that Dubois is paying for Kershaw's room, so they plan to kidnap Dubois at his home. The plan is abandoned however, when police drop off Dubois. They have no money left now, so they decide to go for another kidnapping. They target Frank Griga, who owns a phone sex operation. After a promising discussion at Griga's mansion, the gang invites Griga, and his wife Christina Furton to Adrian's home, to propose an investment scheme. However, Griga insists on meeting with someone more experienced, and questions Daniel's amateurish business savvy. This angers Daniel, who attacks Griga. Griga fights back, and Daniel accidentally kills him. Christina discovers this and tries to shoot Daniel, but Adrian injects her with a horse tranquilizer. Daniel and Paul try to use codes obtained from a heavily sedated Christina, to open a safe at Griga's home, but the codes do not work. When Christina rouses and tries to escape, Adrian gives her a second injection, but it kills her this time. Since she is dead, they are unable to open the locker. So Daniel just grabs whatever precious thing he can find at their house and leaves. Daniel and Adrian purchase equipment to hide the bodies, and dump the parts in several barrels, which they sink in a lake, while Paul incinerates their hands on a barbecue grill to eliminate their fingerprints. Paul loses his sanity over the violence and gore, leaves the gang, and returns to the priest's church. When Adrian's wife gets home, she sees blood everywhere and freaks, so she calls the police right away. The police learn of Griga and Christina's disappearance, and with evidence from Dubois, they set a plan to arrest the Sun Jim gang. The film returns on June 17th, the police arrest Paul at the church, Adrian at home, and Messe at Sun Jim. Daniel sees the raid and flees. Although he is hit by a police car, he escapes and heads out by sea in Kershaw's boat. Kershaw and Dubois deduce, Daniel is going after Kershaw's hidden bank account in the Bahamas, and accompany the police to capture him. Daniel's pursuers catch up with him, and Daniel runs. Dubois shoots him, Kershaw chases Daniel in a car and incapacitates him, and the authorities arrest him. This is how their run comes to an end, the whole gang has now been caught and are in custody. Daniel is brought back to the United States, and stands trial with Paul Adrian and Messe. At the trial, it is revealed that Robin divorced Adrian the night before she testifies against her own husband. Paul has an attack of conscience, confesses, and testifies against Daniel, he is sentenced to 15 years in prison, serves 7 years, and goes free. Daniel and Adrian receive death sentences, and sit on death row in Florida. Messe is sentenced and dies in prison. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.